what is up welcome back to the channel welcome back to the channel welcome back welcome back welcome back welcome back the shirt the shirt that she put on needs to be washed and I guess it got mixed up with her clean clothes some some type of way we just gonna go with that uh so I'm trying to find her a shirt that she can wear because she's gonna get picked up here in a little bit she's going to hang out with some family and Gosh, that girl's got a lot of family too. I mean, like on both sides. And so since uh, we've been quarantined long enough and not really being able to do much, I figured that uh, it would be an okay time for her to get out the house, okay? She needs to do something outside of the house. Oh, that's a t-shirt. I don't see no regular shirts. We might have to. I might have to go to the laundry mat. So I'm just making Olivia a little bit of a snack here. I don't know exactly what she's gonna be doing, but just in case, I like to always kind of send her with something she could snack on, um, just in case they're in the car for a while. So I'm putting two Kool-Aid jammers in here, two waters. And got some yogurt, so we're doing blueberry, one strawberry. Put those in there. Two granola bars. She really likes these, so I went ahead and opened it. Blueberry pop tart for breakfast, if she wants to eat that for breakfast in the morning. Or she can eat applesauce. So just some things she, she can snack on while she's gone. She doesn't have to eat it. I just like sending her with stuff just in case, you know. Hey y'all, what is up? Happy Monday. Welcome back to the channel. Last time I picked up the camera was Friday. I've just been enjoying my weekend, y'all. We were kid free this weekend. And so I was taking advantage of that. <clears throat> and so it was just me and the honey for the whole weekend. And we just did, you know, do what we do. We chill. We were able to get our drink on a little bit, you know, because we didn't have to. There's no kids in the house. So, you know, we were able to do adult things. And, yeah, and then we ended up going to the store. What was it? I think Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. We ended up going to the store and having another good night. Um, because we were invited to a birthday situation down in Macon, I think. But I don't, both of us kind of feel the same way as far as going places and riding with someone else. I like to be able to leave when I want to leave or get there when I want to get there. So unless it's a uh, designated time that I'm supposed to be there, I'm very punctual. If you give me a time I'm supposed to be there, then I nine times out of ten I'm going to be there at that time. But if it's come anytime you want, I want to be able to come in my own ride and leave in my own ride. Like, so we were thinking about going down there and we were thinking about doing like a rental car, but oh my gosh, it is so expensive. The cheapest one that we found was like this, um, it was through a company called Avis and it was a combat compact car and at the time the rate was uh for because we were doing it for different days we were trying to decide if we were going to just get it for the weekend or if we were going to keep it for the whole week um so that you know we can also have a chance to go see his mom and dad so because they kind of they live down there too um but when we were looking at them prices i was like girl bye i can't do that like i didn't feel comfortable spending five six seven hundred dollars for a car just to say that we have a car for a week that didn't make sense to me even with the three day the compact car that i saw it was like 70 something dollars a day but then when you added in tax and then you tagged on the insurance that they wanted you to do for like car coverage and stuff like that and loadside assistance 
it was just way more money than I was willing to spend even for the weekend and I was kind of feeling like well dang we've already taken care of a lot of our errands and stuff like it'd be different I guess if we had if we weren't just renting the car for leisure purposes and that we were we actually had things that we needed to take care of that required or not required but would make it easier if we had a car you know what I mean like I wasn't about to do that pay no five six seven hundred dollars for a car for three days or almost a thousand dollars for a car for a whole week you know I feel like shoot for that amount of money we're about a third's way there to just going to get a cash car you know that's just how I look at things that's how I kind of help us to stay within budget because my husband he's one of those if I got it today and I want it today I'm gonna get it today you know because tomorrow's not promised whereas I understand living for today but if you live past today what you gonna do tomorrow so you also kind of have to, I'm trying to get him in the mindset of living for today but also living for tomorrow at the same time not just living for today so he felt like because he had the money that was the thing to do whereas I'm like no because there are so many other things that we can do with five six seven hundred dollars you know that would make more sense um so yeah I'm glad we scratched that idea brought me some more flowers I added in these were the two that were left from the other bunch they were the only two alive so we added them in there um, but yeah are these pretty so it's yellow pink green blue and orange and then I added the purple ones so yeah I don't know what's been up he's been replacing the flowers so hey I'm not complaining uh, some of them are kind of falling off though but it's okay I'm still appreciative Oh, welcome back, y'all. Welcome back to the channel. Oh. Comment below if you like reggae. Mm. Comment below if you like reggae. Welcome back to the channel. Mm. Y'all, what is up? I hope everybody is feeling great, feeling good, you know. I know it's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on right now, but I hope everybody is doing wonderful so today is actually the 18th you guys i know the last clip you saw was i don't even remember what day that was it'll probably pop up on the screen at that portion of the video but um yeah so let me give you all a few updates because i haven't been on here since the last time which was friday today is what thursday what's today i should know this right yeah, today's Thursday, so today's the 18th. I haven't spoken to you guys since Friday, and here's why. I was kid-free. I was kid-free. And you know what? I took advantage of being kid-free. Um, my kid went with a family member, and she was gone all the way till yesterday. And so she's here today. Um, and so, yeah, I was just enjoying my, my, my me time. Like, to be honest with y'all, I didn't want to film nothing. It was just me and the honey here. And, child, we was doing us, okay? So, um, with that being said, I'm here today. And so, update about the face mask. Still haven't gotten them. Don't know what the haps is with that. At this point, I'm over it. It's, I mean, whatever. It is what it is, okay? But, some new information had arised since then. And I had to have a sit down with my husband. I had to have a one-on-one -on -one session with him and have a serious talk about how he's spending our money. And yes, I said our money because his money is my money, okay? And because I'm frugal, I the he's been ordering stuff and everything has come except for those face masks and this item that I'm just learning about, okay? Well, actually, I didn't just learn about it. I knew about it. But now I'm starting to question 
if we're ever gonna get it or not okay so a few videos back remember i told you guys i was waiting on a surprise or was waiting on something i was really really excited about it well back then i was under the notion that it was supposed to be delivered at some point in between the middle of june right we're in the middle of june today's the 18th and no one has come yesterday i went to the post office and came home and saw a guy trying to figure out what apartment he was supposed to be at and he had he was uh an employee from an appliance company so i assumed it was our dishwasher it was not <sighs> so i started asking questions about this dishwasher because i'm like you know what we've already went through a thing with this face mask so let me find out more information about this can't find no information because again just like the face mask he's not tracking his purchases okay and so that's a problem for me, you know, because I don't want us to get got because you're not paying attention to where you're ordering from. OK, so now I'm going through his emails and stuff, trying to figure out, you know, where's this deep freezer supposed to be coming from if it's really coming. OK, that way I am here when it comes and they don't just dump it in front of my door and keep it moving. And then somebody got them a whole new deep freezer because that's how we roll out. That's how people roll out here. OK. Um, when you order stuff, you got to be at the house to make sure you get it. It's a funny story about that too. That happened a couple weeks ago with that. But anyway, I'll share that with y'all another time. But yeah, y'all, so I had to have a sit down with him and I'm like, look, dude, the next time you want to order something, don't. Okay. Let me order it. If you want to order something, let me know. And I got you because see, I'd be on top of stuff like that, like tracking numbers and, and figuring out where's what because i don't like spending my money and not getting what i paid for you know so that's the update on that no face mask and no deep freezer as of yet i don't think we're ever going to get the face mask but i would prefer to get the deep if i had to choose between the two i would prefer to get the deep freezer i mean real talk because we need one okay but yeah so that's all that's going on today so far i'm about to go in here in this room um because olivia wasn't here but the other kids have been over um, for those that are new to my channel, I am a married mom of one, but I have two stepchildren. They're grown, they live on their own, and they come here and leave with my stockpile. So I've got to come, which is cool, because that's why I coupon, so everybody can have what they need. When my mom come over here, I make sure her and my dad leave it what they need, if they need something. You know, so that's what it's for. But I need to clean up the room because it's a hot mess. And I need to set up this computer because Babe wants to, uh, he needs more computer knowledge. You know, he's not really tech savvy. And I know that sometimes when he gets on my computer, he doesn't know when I have to work and all that stuff. So sometimes when he gets into things and he's into it, I have to tell him, hey, I got to go to work. So with this spare computer that we have, the one that I was using before the new one that I got, I'm going to set it up in here. That way he can come in here anytime he wants to. No matter the time of day, even if I'm working, he can come on here and kind of learn and play around with the Internet. And because he knows basic um, computers, you know, um, but he's not really a computer person. So that's why I do a lot of the stuff for him when it comes to computers like resumes, paying bills and all that stuff, because he's not really familiar with it. So um, I want him to become familiar with it because it works well if he tries to apply for a job outside of the industry that he's in. I want him to have the basic knowledge of how to get around the internet, you know, different things dealing with the computer. So I'm going to set up the computer here, but I've got to clean up this little space. I've got to clean up this little space so I can set it up over here so that he's able to just come in here and just use it when he wants.
we got a bag neat in here. Let's move this out the way. That way I know what I have. I know my stepson been going through this candy bag because he liked candy. But here we are with the computer. So it's on, but I think what's happening is the picture's not showing up on this screen because this was the backup screen when it was connected to the other computer. So I'm gonna have to play around with the settings and get it to show up on this screen, but it's on. So we'll just have to get a picture to show. But hopefully this will encourage him to jump on here and just play around and just get familiar with the computer settings and things like that so that he'll at least know because knowledge is power, y'all.